Hi there, I'm Kurt, the Technology Coordinator from Middlebury Community Television. Uh, today's tutorial is how to create the Walking Dead title sequence. Uh, thanks to Zach King for showing us how to do this uh, with Apple Motion. Today we're going to take a simpler look using Keynote and finishing up with iMovie. There's a couple key elements that need to be included. One is the text effects which are kind of motion tracked to the video background and then everything is shown through the filter of a dirty glass kind of yellowish sepia tinted uh, filter so we'll look at how to do that as well. So here it is. So let's get started with opening Keynote. Select a blank white background and delete those text boxes that come with it. Then let's go to the inspector and show the document. Now we're going to change the size to 1280 by 720. It's about as big as this IMAX screen will handle and let us see everything we're working with at the same time. So you notice that the working canvas uh, is the 720 size. We get a little bit around the edges that we can use. So we're going to import uh, the video that Zach has graciously provided. I chopped it down to just the first shot. You notice it came in at 1080p, larger than our uh, keynote window, so we're going to resize that to fit. There will be a minor loss in quality, uh, but you'll barely notice it. And kind of snap that into size, and when you get there, keynote will let you know you're right on the crosshairs. So there's our first layer, the video. And we'll add text for the titles, so I'll uh, put my name in there. And I'll make myself the executive producer, uh, just like Zach did. You'll notice, uh, I think we both got that idea. There's a lot of executive producers on The Walking Dead. Let's change the font to something we like. That's about good size. And all the names uh, in the credits there are bold. And we'll position that where we want it to start in the frame. And the plane tracks to the left, so we're going to make the text track to the right. And you go to your Build Inspector, Add an Action. You'll see we've got Move already selected, Ease In and Ease Out, Start Slow and End Slow. We're going to make it three seconds to match the length of the shot and start automatically with the video. And you see the ghost image is where that's going to end. So as I, I'm going to make it opposite to the plane's movement, so down and a little to the right. And you get something that looks like this. Uh, Keynote and QuickTime are not processing that in real time, so it'll look smoother in the end. That looks pretty good. Now we bring in the next layer, which is going to be our dirty glass window filter. Now we can't see anything because that's sitting on top of everything else. We're going to resize that, stretch it out a bit, and go back to the graphic inspector this time and we can drop the opacity down. Now pick something that looks good for you. Uh, the white of the snow is pretty light, so we got to drop the opacity down quite a bit. Go to the build inspector. We're going to add an action. Again, it's the move in and out, three seconds, and we're going to start that at the very beginning of the video clip. Close that. Now you'll see here, the ghost image is much harder to see, but we're going to track the dirty glass filter with the motion of the plane, so we're going to make it go up and to the left. You can see this point over here has changed to show that we're moving that whole layer. Looks something like this. You notice all three layers are moving. Again, it'll look smoother when it's exported out. So that looks pretty good. So then let's export it. I'm going to select fixed timing. Since the shot is three seconds, we'll make the build last the same amount of time. Five seconds for the whole thing gives us editing kind of handles when we bring it into iMovie. Now we export it out and just save it somewhere easy to find, like the desktop. Now 
And this will take a minute, but when it's done, you get something like this. So when you're in iMovie, uh, first thing is make sure you've got in your preferences uh, your advanced tools showing. And uh, I learned this from Matt's Macintosh a ways back. Flip the view here and put your project space down below. Click on these buttons over here and you'll see it as one long timeline, which is what any professional editing program generally looks like. Click on this to show your waveforms and you're set to go. Now I've already imported that uh, QuickTime movie into iMovie. So here it is in the events. Select it, drag it down into your timeline. Go to the little gear and select video adjustments. Click on clip. And these video effects, there are several built-in uh, filters. And there's one called vignette, which gets the effect we're kind of looking for for The Walking Dead. Uh, limitation here is you can only apply one of those built-in filters at a time. So there we get kind of what things look like. Um, the other uh, video effects, you can kind of see some of the, uh, the way that looks. Uh, the Walking Dead definitely has kind of a sepia tinted look to it, but we can't apply that and the vignette right here in iMovie. Uh, and if you want to add the sepia as well as the vignette, I recommend doing that back in Keynote and you can just uh, drag in another layer over the top of that dirty glass window um, or find a dirty glass window that's a little yellowish to begin with. So here's kind of the uh, look at what we'll get there. I'll play it full screen. A little jerky because it's not doing it in real time, but pretty good looking. There you have it. So thanks to Zach King for providing those tutorial files. Uh, see the description for a link to uh, all those files he provided. And good luck creating your own uh, Walking Dead title sequence. Thanks for watching.